A giant beehive in an Ashburn yard came tumbling down today. We told you the story yesterday of two Ashburn men who were afraid to even sit on their porch because of the massive hive. It was even scary to tree cutters. Well, help arrived today, and WLB News 10 Stephanie Springer was there. She's here in the studio now to show us what happened. Well, roommates Zeke Mack and Carrie Moore awoke to a huge surprise today. City workers pulled up around 9.30 and sprayed the beehive, and slowly those bees dropped to the ground. Then it was time to bring down the hive, which was a bit nerve-wracking for those roommates. Zeke Mack and his roommate Carrie are finally able to relax on their front porch. City come out this morning. They went up. They spray. Now that they half of them on the ground, I feel a little better. And I can sit on the pool a little longer. Hundreds of pesky bees they had been dealing with for months were finally dead. They still moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still out here. Got a lot of them down. They, you know, you sprayed, got a lot of them down here now. They're still jumping around. They ain't all dead. But even though the city sprayed the hive and hundreds of bees fell to the ground. And we got to worry about them flying around on the pool. But they still need to come out here and spray some off. There's still a lot of them still up there. They still had to deal with the occasional visitor. I got one right there. See a lot of bees coming this way, so I just get up and go that way. So they came up with ways of dealing with the stray bees until the tree cutters got rid of the branch with the hive. Stay in the hay. Stay in the hay. Today, our camera was rolling when the brave tree cutter took his chainsaw to the branch with the hive. You think about it. I got some wall spray. As Mac and Moore anxiously watched from afar. There you go. There you go. Oh. There it is. There it is. And once the hive came down, everyone crowded around to get a closer look. What it feel like? Oh. Sticky. Moore and Max say it's a big weight off their shoulders. Well, I'm glad it's down. Now I can sit on the foot and relax. Yep, that's history now. And now they can finally return to their everyday life. And the men say they plan to put back the porch light they removed back this weekend. Since no bees should no longer be a problem, they say they plan to celebrate now that those bees are gone with the barbecue so they can enjoy their porch in peace. A happy ending to that story. And they tell us the tree is almost down, too. The tree cutter will return next week to finish the job.